Hello everyone and welcome to an Ancients Reborn update video for version 1.2.0. Today we'll be going over what we've discovered and what this update brings. Now since the devs have decided to keep some of the notes hidden from us, we the players need to explore and discover what's in the update. If I miss something you'll just have to forgive me. I will add time stamps to the certain parts of the video to help you find the information you need a little easier uh, and that'll be down in the description below. First thing I'd like to cover is the demon altar itself and what you can craft. To get to the altar uh, you first need to head to the Doom Forge where Demon Lord Malkor sits and kill him for a chance to spawn a portal. Gems required for this fight is heat as a primary and arcane as secondary. Uh, once the portal appears you need to head in and you'll be presented with the altar to allow you to upgrade your plus two deer enhanced items. The initial transfusion of an item to demonite is a 100% success rate. Um, then if you wanted to enhance from there you do require deer shards uh, and there is a chance to fail like deer enhancing so make sure to prepare ahead of time when enhancing your items. Please note, uh, the demonite gear itself is not tradable, but for all of the craftable items and resources, uh, they are tradable, except for demonic blood, which you need to get from the loyalty stores. To transfuse your demonite gear, you'll need quite a few resources, and to equip the item, a minimum combat level of 100 is required, and a weapon skill of 100 of your particular weapon of choice, except for the shield, it has no weapon skill requirement, just the combat level 100. Uh, now let's take a look at the requirements for each um, of the armor sets and items. We'll go in order and start with the weapons to cover off those, then move into different armor sets. As you can see, uh, you do require a decent amount of materials for each of the individual items here. Um, but now let's uh, take a quick look at the armor sets and we'll start with linen. Uh, now let's take a look at studded armor. Okay, last but not least, now plate armor. Now we know what items we need for each of our individual armor sets. Uh, how or where do we get them? Items required uh, depends on the mod drops, uh, loyalty tokens, daily and normal chests, harvesting nodes and crafting. We'll look at these in order starting with mobs. The four new mob drop items are Demonic Mark, Demonic Heart, Demonic Soulstone and Demon Hide. And the mobs that drop these I'll display on the screen now. Feel free to pause the video so you can check them all out. Now, uh, to get the demonic blood, you do need to use the loyalty tokens of your crew by um, doing your tasks, your daily tasks. Um, the actual demonic blood is not tradable, so you'll need to farm out your dailies in order to get your tokens for these. Next is the daily and normal task chests. I'll display on the screen what chests give and what you can expect from them here. It looks like we only get the rewards from level 3 chests right now, so you'll have to be a high level to check those out. As for the harvesting nodes, there are three new ones, uh, Demonite Ore, which can be found in the Doom Forge, but in order to get your resources, you'll need a mining level of 80 and have to fight uh, monsters. You may need someone fighting them as you gather for these ores. There is a chance when farming these nodes that you'll get coal instead of Demonite Ore, so be prepared for that. The second resource is a flame weed plant which requires level 80 gathering and as the same before you'll need to fight your way through mobs to gather these and they can be found in the doom forge and the demon pits. Uh, the last one is the devil barks tree um, with a wood cutting level of 80 you can cut these trees down in uh, the demon pits. Now we move on to crafting resources uh, and what we can get there. So this is a great addition to the update as you require high level crafting skills up to level 99 to craft these items. With this update we're now able to craft parts instead of having to craft an item, disassemble them down to parts. The devs are listening to the community with this one, a very big change, uh, very excited to not have to craft bits of armour anymore just to get some parts. Let's uh, start with blacksmithing here. Um, 
Here's the new item so you can craft with blacksmithing for your armor and weapon upgrades to demonite. Feel free to pause the video as required. Here's the tailoring, crafting items and requirements for those. Okay, now let's look at metallurgy. Here are the levels and items required to craft these. Here are the fletching requirements and what you can craft. Now for the weaving crafting items and requirements. And last but not least, the carpentry items you can craft. Uh, the only other change I'm aware of at the moment is the Hell Reavers uh, level 109 can now aggro on level 130s, which is a great change in my opinion for lower level stat um, 130s to level those stats up. Now, uh, if I missed anything, please post a comment down below uh, to let others know the uh, update changes. If you enjoyed the video, I found it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching the video.